Hi everyone, this is uh, update number five and um, some of you might have seen the uh, fiberglass cloth rolls uh, that I purchased. They're 50 inches wide and uh, I've uh, unrolled them and cut them out to the exact height of my uh, pontoons and if we come on this side here you'll see that I have the um, the glass laid now on the side of the pontoon here so I've got this measured out to fit exactly from the bottom part here this is the glass that I had originally put down which is underneath the uh, pontoon and which has already been wet on the section that's underneath the pontoon so this is so that I can do my continuation here on this side here and as you see now I've got it mounted onto the side here of the uh, pontoon and uh, how I'm holding it is just with the staple here and there and uh, that's all done the whole length there and then the next thing that I'm doing is I'm putting in this piece of uh, cloth, the same cloth and I've just made myself a four inch wide roll that uh, I fold in half so I have two inches on the bottom there and then obviously the other two inches on the top here and that's so that when I put the add the resin that it'll adhere to this section that's underneath the pontoon and then this new side here that I've added and then from there there's another layer going on over top so again here starting from this point up and going up and it'll be the full 50 inches and then the full 50 inches comes to exactly right here and then on the other side of the pontoon here I'll have another piece that roll those two rolls that are there which will be also put in there held there and then again another piece of cloth going over that the full 50 inches and coming back to here and basically that will give me two layers on this side two layers on this side and then this little piece here is what's going to uh, continue the uh, the, the seam from you know from this floor section to the pontoon section and how I go about that is this one here I had staples now this staple here is just put into the foam basically just very lightly and this one as well and later on I'll as I'm pouring the resin I'm just gonna pop that up with my fingernail basically so to put that into the side here I use my trowel and uh, to make the fold and I just press my trowel down and I measure that I've got my two inches and I shoot a staple there I press lightly there and then just shoot a staple there and that gives me my nice little corner there and that's gonna hold until I'm ready to lay down the uh, fiberglass so I've got this so far done and uh, I'll just continue giving you uh, shots of it as I uh, got uh, as I cover the whole uh, pontoon. So here we have the other side all uh, fiberglass as well. And the cloth on this side here uh, goes down below here. You see my fingers go up there to where the wall is going to rest. So I've got about two inches there uh, of fiberglass that I won't be wetting and uh, stop maybe around here and that'll be for the fiberglass of the wall to be merged into the west, this one once uh, I install that wall. So that's the first coat on both sides and what it looks like once it's got the second coat is uh, this here. So on this side here there is the second coat. So there's a 60 inch cloth so see you see here my first row here like we were looking at the other side and then there's another cloth so this cloth here uh, has a matte finish on one side and that's the side that you would put on the outside and uh, that's so that you can do some sanding uh, after you've uh, uh, applied your uh, 
resin and it uh, has hardened and uh, so you don't sand into the uh, fibers themselves that are the really strong reinforcement fibers here these kind of lines here that you see and these are stitches here to hold the whole thing together so this is a 50 inch cloth that's laid over like this and goes up to the other side and it stops about to there and then there's another 50 inch cloth that I start from this side and then lay it back over on top like this so basically you would have then two uh, quotes of cloth two uh, layers of cloth here and obviously two layers of cloth here because there's my first layer that I've put on so that's how all of this uh, works here and I'll then give you a shot of the uh, fiberglass uh, once it's all uh, on the center here uh, as well so here we have the two layers of uh, cloth uh, all on this uh, pontoon now and um, at the front here I decided to actually do a small change I added even a third layer because here I need to actually do a lot more sanding to get this uh, shape uh, nice and round so uh, got three layers on here and I uh, finished the edge here uh, a little tighter so that's the only change that I've made there and I also have the same uh, on that side there too so the front bow and the back stern are both uh, the same so that's done on both sides now and the other thing I did is I installed uh, you can see it here are there screens uh, throughout the whole uh, openings at the uh, front and uh, at the back as well and uh, what this is for is because I'll be working at night uh, with the resin so that I've got a lot more working time and because I need a lot of working time to actually impregnate the uh, resin uh, through two layers. Normally you would only do one layer at a time and then put a more uh, cloth on it and then put more resin and then do the next layer. But uh, it's, I'm putting two layers at a time here and uh, I need a lot more work to uh, get that resin uh, in there and then there's a small tool that's used uh, for that I use a trowel and then this is a traditional tool that uh, is used for that so the resin can uh, fit in the grooves here and then these little like they're like little washers uh, they could put they put pressure on the cloth and then it works it works the resin into the cloth so that takes quite a bit of working and uh, I've already uh, resin uh, one evening I worked from midnight till 5 in the morning and this is what uh, the result is so I've actually done half of the center of the pontoon in resin and you could see there oops sorry about that the uh, focus is going out I'll just go down there so now you can see my uh, plywood that's uh, coming through the resin here and uh, that's the kind of thing you want to see uh, once you've got the resin uh, well impregnated into the uh, cloth and see here there's a little bit of white that means that resin didn't quite uh, make it all the way down to the bottom cloth so that it makes contact with the uh, plywood so this was my first uh, test here and I did the whole uh, half of the center uh, flat area between the two pontoons so as you see this is a shot now of it when I'm walking further away here so I've got 28 feet done all the way to the bow of the uh, resin port and that's um, that took me about uh, hmm, maybe about four hours to you know batch by batch uh, I was pouring about uh, 70 ounces of resin and uh, working one section at a time about up to there and then another one there and another one there another one there so I had about five 
uh, or six at the most uh, batches of 70 ounce to do uh, to impregnate the uh, two layers of cloth uh, half of this section. So this is here just so that I can walk on and as you can see here I am standing on this and this is very very strong now. There is no flex, nothing and uh, this boat will be very strong once all of that is done. Here uh, you can see a little bit of white here and again the resin did reach itself. What was happening is here is a point from one batch to another and at the end it was actually starting to harden on me and uh, I couldn't get it down fast enough. So this area here, uh, the last bottom cloth is got like a certain percentage of it not fully 100% wet like as you see as it continues here so I have to be really careful uh, I have to really choose my uh, nights that I'm gonna work on this because that is the big problem here so uh, I need uh, evenings that are about uh, 60 degrees uh, or even less to be able to uh, have enough working time to uh, you know push that uh, resin into the cloth so that it could absorb right to the bottom and then merge with the foam and the plywood so that's the kind of thing that is uh, difficult to do and uh, needs and requires a lot of work so and imagine that I've got two layers of cloth on this here this is not a problem here but working here on the uh, vertical plane is going to be quite a task so it's going to be working with a wide trowel and just keep pushing you know the resin back inside the cloth and uh, I'm gonna have to do that even in smaller sections so it's been over a week now since I've done this and uh, I uh, have been waiting for cooler weather but we're now in a heat wave here and uh, I can't do any of this uh, work at this time because the nights are too warm and uh, the forecast though is going to be good in maybe about four days from now we're going to start getting our normal cool nights uh, for the month of September and uh, so that's about the update for now uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this video and the next video you'll get to see the whole uh, hull completely uh, resined so maybe I'll just do a shot of one of the pontoons and then the whole thing and uh, I'm quite sure this would represent about uh, seven uh, or maybe eight days uh, or eight nights uh, to be able to get all this uh, done because these ones here uh, the pontoons will be even even more difficult than working the floor so that's about it for now and uh, thanks for uh, your interest in this uh, houseboat build. Bye now.